Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Mackenzie, and this is Sorority Recruitment 101, the only channel dedicated to answering the questions you may have about what it's like to be in a sorority in college and what it's like to go through sorority recruitment at a big university. As you can tell by the title of this video, today I'm going to be going over the outfits you should be wearing during each round of recruitment. Some of the descriptions Panhellenic gives can be a little bit vague, so in this video, I'm going to be going over the exact details of what you should be wearing during each round of recruitment. But before I get into any of that, you guys know the drill. Make sure you subscribe down below and click that notification bell so you never miss a new video. I post new videos every single Monday and Friday giving you guys tips for sorority recruitment and also to share my experience being in a sorority at the University of Alabama. Also, I would love to have you join our Sorority Recruitment 101 family, so make sure you're following us on all of our social media. Our family has been growing so much lately and it is awesome, so if you would like to join, I'll link all of our socials in the description box below. Now, I know when I was going through recruitment, I was stressing out about outfits. I had no idea what to wear just because the styles in the Northeast and the South are very different. Thank God I had my cousins that both went to school in South Carolina to help me out a little bit, but it's still completely different in Alabama versus South Carolina. So that's why I wanted to make this video so I could help you guys out. That way you know exactly what you should be wearing and what you shouldn't be wearing. So let's start with open house. Open house is the first round of recruitment and it's basically your introduction to how the rest of the week is going to go. During this round, you should be wearing a sundress or a romper, totally your preference. As for shoes, you definitely want to make sure you're comfortable throughout this round because you go to every single house. So I would recommend either wearing flat sandals, platform sandals, or low wedges. Now your sundress and your romper should be casual, but not too casual. Kind of think of it as if you're going to brunch or lunch with your family. Also, I would not recommend wearing two-piece outfits, even though they're really cute and very in style right now. They could just be seen as a little too casual for recruitment. Open house is a really versatile round. You can really wear whatever you want, as long as you're comfortable and it's not too casual. The second round is philanthropy, and this is such a fun round because a lot of the times, you universities will give you t-shirts to wear. At Alabama, they gave us two different shirts and they told us which day to wear each one. Our job was to pick out cute shorts to wear with each shirt. They'll normally post pictures of the shirt online before recruitment. That way you can start pairing your shorts to each shirt. So just look at the colors on the shirt, find shorts to match it, and it's as simple as that. As for shoes this round, you can wear whatever you want. You can wear sandals or sneakers. It's totally up to you. Wear whatever you're comfortable in and whatever will make you feel most like yourself. Also, with whatever shorts you pick out, make sure they are not too short or too tight just because a lot of sororities have you sit on the ground this round and you want to be comfortable. I would not recommend wearing denim shorts especially if they're ripped just because they can be seen as too casual for recruitment. The third round of recruitment is sisterhood and this round tends to be a little bit more formal. For this round you can either wear a really nice dress or a jumpsuit. Just make sure when you're picking out your outfit you're taking the weather into consideration. So for me at Alabama, I would not be wearing a jumpsuit because it is hot and humid the entire week. But if you're going somewhere where it's a little bit cooler or your recruitment is in the winter time, definitely consider wearing a jumpsuit. As for shoes, you should be wearing wedges or a casual heel. When picking out your dress, just think about what you would wear if you were going to a nice dinner with your extended family or with your significant other's family. When you pick out what you're wearing, make sure it isn't too skin tight, doesn't have cutouts, and isn't too short just because it can be seen as too casual. The fourth round is preference and it is the most formal day of recruitment. For this round, you should be wearing a really nice dress and heels. If you don't feel comfortable in heels, you can wear wedges. It's totally up to you. When picking out your dress, think about what you would wear to an afternoon wedding or to your graduation. Again, make sure it's not too tight or too short just because it can be seen as too casual. Also, just because it's formal, you do not have to wear a floor length gown. I'm not saying that at all. Just make sure you're wearing an appropriate short dress. Bid day is the last day of recruitment and is the most fun and the most casual. You can really wear whatever you want. I know a lot of people at Alabama Alabama wear tank tops and shorts just because right when we get to the house we're gonna be throwing on our jersey right away. Your shorts can be any type. You can wear denim shorts, you can wear nicer shorts, you can even wear Nike shorts. As for your shirt, you can either wear a nicer tank top or a workout tank top. Totally up to you. Like I said, when you get to the house you're gonna be throwing your jersey right over your outfit. For shoes, make sure it's something you can run in. You can wear sneakers or strap on sandals as long as they're secure. At Alabama you run from the stadium to your new sorority house and you are literally running. So make sure your shoes are secure. That way you don't hurt yourself. All right, you guys, so that is my video talking about what you should be wearing during each round of recruitment. I know it can be a little stressful, but just look for outfits that make you feel confident and make you feel most like yourself. Recruitment is right around the corner, and I am so excited for you guys. If you have any last-minute questions, feel free to DM me on Instagram or comment them down below. I would love to help you guys. Also, thank you to everyone who tuned into our live Q&A on Instagram on Thursday. It was so much fun, and I'm so happy I was able to answer all of your questions. If you guys want me to do another Q&A live, give this video a big thumbs up. As 
always, make sure you subscribe down below and comment some topics you want me to make a video about next. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.